Welcome to the support videos for workload automation video series. In this video, you will learn how to use the new V9 functionality capture from job output and stored in variables. This is an example of a job output. There may be some instances where you want to capture data from the jobs output and save it as a variable so that you can reference it in either the current job or other jobs in the stream. For this demo, we will code a job to search for the string ERRNO and capture the portion of that string. Let's proceed. For this demo, I have pre-created a job named capture underscore me. And in order for us to simulate the output, I am just using a very simple command and we're just doing an echo ERRNO is equal to one, two, three, four, five. And I want to capture just this value right here without the equal sign. Now, in order for me to do that, I have to go to actions and create a new capture from job output. But in this particular instance, I've already created it. So let's review how I did it. I want to capture that value and save it to a variable named capture underscore string. And I've chosen to use a global type variable. We have three different options here, either local, global, and named pool. For more information about the different types of variable, please consult our guide. Now in order for me to, now I'm specifying that I we are looking for the string air no. And once we find it, we want to move forward by one character. And you have an option here to either move by one character or by words. I don't want to capture the equal sign and that's the reason why we're doing this. And what, we, what I want to capture, I want to capture it to the end of the line. You have an option here to either use end of the line or number of characters. Now we're not going to change anything, so we're just going to cancel out of here. And we want to try to run a job and see if it captures that value. Before we run that value, I want to show you that there are no variables defined at the moment. So let's order this job. It has finished. And we're taking a look at the job. And if we were to look at the output of the job, we should see that error number. Now to check whether those variables were created, we'll run the same utility. And we see that it's been created. This concludes this Control M Solutions video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.